Hey everyone, I'm Link here and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask where last time we <laughs> helped a small child um to become more comforted and sleep even though his father has abandoned him to run out and try and stop the curse at Snowhead Mountain. Speaking of, his, uh, speaking of his father, his father is currently buried in the snow back there, the lake we just passed through, and we are taking this rock sirloin to feed a hungry Goron. Yeah, no, the, the Goron elder who's frozen back at that lake, he doesn't believe we're us, so <laughs> we can't really, we can't really convince him to go home, unfortunately. Where, where's this, where's this very cold Goron? There's the very cold Goron. Hello, very cold Goron. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up here, up here. I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I am very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. I can see that. Would you like some rock sirloin? That's it. It's so good I dream about it. Dodongo Cavern's finest quality rock sirloin. This is my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I'm coming down now. Wait one moment. Oh, I wondered who it might be. Why, if it isn't Armani, you are alive? I see, yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of gratitude. And we got Don Ghetto's mask. It just looks just like Don Ghetto, conductor of the frog choir. Hmm. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to direct the frog choir. I hope that spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. I hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. Alright, you you go stay warm and you get yourself fed. I know I just gave you rock sirloin, but... You've been out here so long. You've been out here so damn long. You probably should really go get yourself fed. Okay, let's go ahead and roll on out of here. And now that we have done Gero's mask, the next thing we're going to want to do is head down to Termina Field. There are a couple of things we can do out here. First off, I want to go ahead and drop down here and beat up a Dodongo. With Goron Link, our punches are so powerful. Oh, you didn't spin around that time. Our punches are so powerful we can kill it in three hits. Really, really nice. Give us that money. Then we got another Dodongo we can kill over here. One hit for the baby, or for not the baby Dodongo. We've seen baby Dodongos. This is the child Dodongo. Gives us 15 rupees. Thank you. Over here, we have a song on a wall. A right down, up, down. A right down, up, down, right, left, right. A right down, up, down, right, left, right. If we play the song requested by that wall, we'll get some random money. We got 60 rupees out of that one. Um, Next up, we got another Dodongo to fight for another 50 rupees. And we are grinding up this money for a very specific reason. Do not worry, I have a plan. Alright, Dodongo down. Putting us, up, uh, putting us up to 175. Next up, let's go ahead and pull out our bow. We're going to be needing that soon. And it's time to ride all the way down to the southwest end of Termina Field. Always a good idea to ride through the grass so we can keep our magic replenished. God, Goron Link is so damn fast. It's great. We have Tingle over here, and we have another owl statue. Alright, Tingle, I'm gonna have to shoot you out of the sky if that's alright. Huh? A white fairy? The way you look? Oh, magic, isn't it, sir? 
hello, Mr. Fairy. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yeah, we'll buy Romani Ranch. Yippee! Thank you very much for the map of Romani Ranch. Now we can find our way around the farm. Well, call again. All right, now then, with that done, we're going to head into the ranch. Romani Ranch. There's not much we can do here right now, but this is an important place to come to. There's one thing we can do for certain, so we'll go ahead and take care of that right now. And it will give us a very valuable item. God, I love how fast Goron Link is. It's so great. We just kind of noom all the way across. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Uh, oh well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The cucko loving grog was added to our notebook. You want to see your cuckoos as roosters? Well, good news. If you remember, when we got the Bremen mask, we were told it helped, it helped animals, uh, it helped performer animals to become adults in an instant. So, what if we do that? What if we help your cuckoos become adults? I do not like those earthquakes. Don't worry, don't worry, little cuckoos. The earthquakes are nothing. It's just the moon falling. You're totally not gonna die from being crushed by the moon. You have more important things to worry about, like becoming adults. Oh, I do not like the way that camera moved. It looked like the moon was just coming down right now. <laughs> Holy shit. We are at six, I see. Seven, eight, nine. I think we're missing one. Oh, there it is, way over there. How did I miss that? There are 10 cuckoos in all. Alright, now to begin our slow march to the final cucko. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with the crests and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. We got the bunny hood. My, what long ears it has. Will the powers of the wild spring forth? Power of the wild spring forth. My bad. Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> we fulfilled the wishes of youth. This was added to our notebook. And now we have one of my favorite masks in the game. The bunny hood. You know what the bunny hood does? Whee! We run like twice as fast. It's so great. All right. With that done. No, wrong. That's Sunsung. We want to head. There's one more very important thing we need to do. And I don't know if we'll be able to actually do it. Uh, it's a really tough. What we got coming up next is really tough. So I'm a little bit worried about it. But that's fine. It's fine, we'll, we'll just do our best, and that'll have to be enough. So, we've taken care of the Swamp Shooting Gallery, we've taken care of the Tourist Shooting Minigame. The last thing we need to do with the bow is there is a Town Shooting Gallery. That's right, there are three minigames with your bow and arrow. Come on, come, go in the damn door, Link. 
So we're probably gonna be spending the rest of this episode taking on the town shooting gallery. If you still have time, why don't you try it, Sonny? One game is 20 rupees. All right, Sonny, the rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose three seconds of time, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you like. Press B to shoot them. So, as I may have mentioned many times in the past, I'm colorblind. And it, it it's not that I can't see colors. It's that some colors are surprisingly hard to distinguish, and some colors look like other colors, and it can be really annoying. In this minigame... The blue, uh, the blue Octoroks look like a slightly darker red Octorok to me, so I very frequently get confused on which is which, and will shoot the wrong ones. So, wish me luck. There are two rewards for this minigame. One, you have to get 40 points or more. The other, you have to get a perfect 50. And I mean a perfect 50. So, this could end up taking a while. I'm just gonna do my best though. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best. And we'll see what we get. If we can at least get the 40 the 40 point reward on this first attempt, then I'm very happy about that. Shit. Oh no, now we definitely can't get the 50 point reward. Okay, we did get the 40 point though. That's good. Okay, well look at that. You hit 46. We only missed four. Not bad. And we got the largest quiver. We can now hold up to 50 arrows. This may be our last day in business and you shot pretty well. I did. Can I play again? How about it? Want to try? Let's do it. Come on, go for that 50. Would you believe me if I, if I said I have already attempted to record this episode and the next one and spent, like, the entire rest of the cycle trying to do this and failing? Oh, gosh. We'll, we'll, we'll just chalk that up to a practice run. It's fine. It's acceptable. I can have practice runs that were actually failed recording attempts. That's how this works, right? You know what, the rest of the cycle's been really productive though, so even if I can't get it this time around, I'm I'm happy. I've done my best. Shit. God, why? Why are you going up and down? I'm trying to just aim left and right, and yet the controller is moving up and down, and I hate that. Okay, well we've definitely failed. We've missed one. Best we can do is 49. If we get 47 or higher, we get a reward for beating the record. Okay, that was really good. Usually I just like the skin left to right and just get them in order. 44. 49, okay, just the one. I just missed the one. So we are now one point away from getting a perfect. You can tell that I've already done you've already, you can tell that I've already practiced this quite extensively. Cuz god, this is a hard mini game. Okay, since the controller does tend to drift up, I'm going to aim down initially. And hopefully that'll account for any future updrifting. No! No! <sighs> okay, I'm going to explain something called Dead Zone. Dead Zone is a feature in many video games to deal with the fact that physical hardware can be rather imperfect. So a dead zone is basically, um, if you're... If, a dead zone is a concept used in analog sticks. Analog sticks tend to be imperfect, and they can wiggle around a little bit in the middle. 
Um, when, they're, when they are centered, they're not always exactly in the center. They can be a little bit off to the side. So in order to prevent, like, phantom inputs, games are programmed with what's known as a dead zone. They will say that if the controller is positioned in the middle, say, 10%, uh, if the analog stick is in the middle 10% or so of the controller, then it will just completely ignore the input from the analog stick, assuming that it's probably just sitting in the middle, it's fine, it's probably not actually being pushed. So, older games... Oh, fucking hell! Why? Brain! Why did you think that was red? So older games like Majora's Mask were made on a console with a not-so-good analog stick. The analog stick on the N64 was really, really bad. So in order to compensate for that, the hardware was still really new. It was their first attempt at an analog stick. Uh, but in order to compensate for the... Fuck! Why am I having trouble with this? In order to compensate for the sh really shitty analog stick, they had a really wide dead zone. However, a very big downside of dead zones is... Because you're ignoring the middle so much of the analog stick's input, you lose precision if you re if you want if you want to have precision on that middle section of the analog stick. If you want to like push your analog stick only 10% or so, you're not going to be very precise around there because the the game's just going to straight up ignore it. So for things like this where you're trying to do precise aiming, it's going to ignore your precise aiming, so you have to push it just a little bit too far, and then it moves just a little bit too fast, and aiming sucks. It sucks really bad, because this game was designed for the shitty man, uh, N64 analog stick, and I'm using a really high-quality Wii U Pro Controller analog stick, and apparently that's not fucking... Apparently it's so good that it just kind of flies off to the side when I go out of the dead zone, and I hate that. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I think we can get a couple more rounds in. I just need to focus. 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 Just one at a time. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, good, good. We're still on pace. Okay, I pushed it down a little bit on purpose. Because it felt like it was drifting up. No! See, this is what I mean by precise aiming. You can't... I was not able to aim at that one because I tried to move and it jumped over it. Okay, that's like the hardest one, and I just got that effortlessly. Even going down a very inefficient route for that uh, Octorot set. Okay. There's five on the last one, so I missed two. Okay, let's keep going. We can do this. This will be our last attempt in this day. That's fine. That's fine. As long as we don't take the entirety of the next episode to do this, I'm fine with that. There is a little bit of leeway on shooting the Octoroks, thankfully. You can hit a little bit outside of them and it'll still count. But it's not quite enough when it does that. When it jumps over them. Good. No! Okay. Okay. No, 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 fuck. Oh, we didn't miss any! We just fucked up that one! 
Okay, it's almost noon in game, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask, I am so goddamn close to this. I just gotta stop hitting those blue ones, and I think we have it. So, next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask, I'm beating this town shooting gallery, and I don't care what it takes. I will see everyone next time.